Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. How long have you been sober? Just shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. I'm going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? It, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after ten beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help! Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening! That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this is You're not the me? only one feels pressure! The factory situation is serious, Anne! Real serious! Not right now! <sighs> not tonight. No way. I had a great time, and I really enjoyed the ride. Always happy to give you a ride. You're funny. Me? <laughs> I gotta get away from here and my wonderful family, like right now. Come on. They're not that bad. You don't live with them. Catch you tomorrow. Let me check my diary, see if I've got room. Girls like me are in demand. Mm, no doubt. I'll swing by around 8 tomorrow. I 
fight. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. I've heard that so many times, they sound like a broken record. The same thing again and again. It might help if you actually gave a fuck, you know, <sighs> for once. Get over yourself. Nothing new here. They've been arguing since we were in diapers. Well, you were in diapers. I was better trained. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> you think she was a marine sergeant of past life. It's curled up his ass. He's being even more annoying than usual tonight. A real jerk. So what else is new? Hey, Dennis. <laughs> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Crazy. <laughs> oh. Jesus, you scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. This sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you go check on her, if you don't have other plans. I'll go find her. Hey, Mom? You there? Which nosy going to be dancing little shit has been peeking at my diary?
They don't care. They're not interested. They don't see me. To them, I'm invisible. That isn't right at all. I'm not doing that. for everything. It's not fair. Hey, Megan. What's up? Not listening. Hey, who are you talking to? To someone who actually cares about me. What are you talking about? What was that? You see that? <sighs> Megan. Damn it. Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. You could be right about my family. I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Shit! Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious?
dragging out. Won't you spare me over till another Hello, and welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The 
fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless, and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. You see, you will be determining the outcome of this tale together. What one does will often affect the other. So even though you are two people, you'll be completing the story as if you were one, if that makes any sense. As in life, the actions you take matter. They will determine how your story resolves. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the end. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good pin. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. 
I don't know. You okay? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Careful. There's no rush. Don't be such an old woman and help me up. <sighs> Not sure I'm the old woman here. What happened? We went over a bump in the road. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I know I'll be fine. No need for that tone. Sorry, I'm just trying to help. I don't need any help. Thank you, Daniel. Our professor and classmates might, though. Have you seen them? Hey! Anyone up there? Hey! Daniel, that you? John! Good to hear you! Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine, too. Thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here, either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. That looks bad. I hope Taylor is okay. Taylor will be just fine. Girl has a knack for getting out of trouble. I know Taylor can be demanding, selfish, quarrelsome, and small-minded, but other than that, she's a real babe. I don't want to know. Daniel? Everything okay? No, I'm good. Just a little lightheaded is all. I'm thinking I'm gonna file charges against the college. For what? Having a bad night? The college are responsible for our safety. This nightmare is negligence. Not only have we crashed in the middle of nowhere, we're saddled with Jumpy John as our way out. Right now, our priority is getting out of here. Follow me. Why do men always feel they have to be in charge? I can find my own way. Thank you. You coming? <laughs> 